Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss the topic is the decorator API, how it works and what's the purpose. Okay, <coughs> API is one of the uh, decorator which will be useful for defining the public properties and uh, defining uh, public functions and defining get setup properties also. Okay, this is the main advantage of API. And through this API de de decorator, you can pass the communication from parent to child and you can define public properties uh, for that. And you can uh, call the functions which is decorated with the API from parent to child again. Like that, you can define public properties, you can define public functions, you can make uh, get set properties also. Okay. In our example, in our uh, current session we are going to see how can we pass a data from parent to child in the previous video we saw that how we can calculate two numbers and show the result now what we are going to do we are going to use the same calculator example but instead of showing the result in the same component we are going to use another component to the show result okay let's see so this is how it will be Okay, this is about the result component where we are going to show. So if you see here, I have HTML file. Okay, that is a some property and I defined a property with API here, API sum and configuration file, you know that. Okay, I just configured for lightning app page. Now let's go with practical session. I'm going to create so if you see here this is a, a calculator example which we saw uh, in the earlier session it's a lightning web component 2 uh, and if you see here I am displaying result also here okay so the output of this you can see here so okay see you are getting the output here okay this output i am considering the same component here so here i'm considering same component here i am displaying <coughs> now what i'm going to do i'm removing this So I remove this, just let's see the output. Here I'm trying to do passing the result to the child component. Okay, first of all, let's create a component which can hold the result with the API decorator. Okay, because as API property is going to define a public property you can pass the communication to the the particular component where you have public property from any other component so let's create one component lightning web component here i am giving a result component and so this is the result component just saving the data now result component so first thing is let's define a property here so that is api property this is the result okay you can say this result is just a result and whenever you want to use or define a property with a any deck with any decorator you have to input such kind of decorator here always okay 
that's it now we define a property result with decorator API I'm going to use which is reactive again here I'm going to define the result so just taking a view addition result static text anyway now here I'm result component okay in this result component i'm just displaying result here so this property is defined in result component javascript file and now i'm going to make this is exposed true available for I, i'm going to make this component available for app builder and you have targets also so let's take this targets this is a lightning app page so i'm going to result component configuration file that's it till now i just created a lightning web component that is a result component I just declared or defined a API uh, an API property that is public property with the API decorator and I'm using the same property of the HTML file on the result component now we are going to see how we can pass the data to this result component from cal test calculator component cal test component let's see so if you see here result component so it's a camel case when you are going to use this in uh, whenever you are going to use this in a separate component in another component you have to use kebab case how it will be see you just need to separate with the hyphen so let's go to this one and here in the same place i'm using this first thing is you have to add namespace okay we don't have any namespace default namespace is c now result see it is giving already if you see here kebab case is having result hyphen component so you just need to separate this camel case to uh, small and you have to add hyphen between that result okay what is kebab case is you can explore more but whenever you want to include a component in into another component you have to use the kebab case with the hyphen separator and um, now this is the property you define in the result component and here you have to pass this result from parent component that's it so whenever you are defining or whenever you are uh, including a child component here you can't close this like this it should be container component always that's it let's see how it looks like now See here additional result addition result came here and you can do see so now what we are doing here we are able to display the result in the child component from parent company that means you are able to pass the communication or data to child component by using api decorator because api decorator defines a property public and you can pass the information to that whenever you are going to use the component in another component which has the public properties
okay that means you can define public properties on the component and you can pass the values to the component easily when you define a property with the api as it is a public so this is about passing the communication between parent to child along with that you can do um, <coughs> you can define public proper public properties and you can define public functions also now in our calculator example you are just passing the data from parent to child you can do or you can invoke the functions of child component also if you define any function as any function with the api decorator in the child component okay cool thank you so you can have references here please go through that and we are going to include the same code in this lab also okay so you can see the code in the in my blog and uh, you can practice it thank you